The Antitrix has a total of 12 known alien transformations, all of them bearing similarities to Ben Tennyson's but simultaneously being very different as well. One such alien is the very first to debut on screen and that is Wrecking Ball. Today, we'll be finding out what Wrecking Bolt is made of, but first, let's chat about the Red Sphere Man who is more brutal than classic Cannon Bolt. He first debuted in the episode This Goes to Eleven. He takes on both Stinkfly and also Ben's recently unlocked Faxosaurian transformation in what seems to be his first ever battle, and it does give us clues as to what could be the other DNA samples that make up Wrecking Bolt. Firstly, his DNA is obviously mostly composed of Arborian Polaroda DNA being mostly cannonballed in his powers and his appearance. However, he is a lot more agile than the original and seems to pack a lot more power as he is literally able to go toe to toe with Humongousoid. This has got me thinking that he isn't just a combination of two DNA samples but three and after running a community post with you guys it helped me to figure out what the other samples were. I believe Wrecking Bolt is firstly part Bug Lizard. Now this is quite the thought but the reason I believe that he's part Bug Lizard is because of the design elements that are on him. Spikes of course and the nature of his agility. He oddly enough on his first time using the alien seems to be a very very good counter to Stinkfly and he is able to take him on pretty easily leaping right into the air at him with ease. This would also explain the very nature of his sharp claws and his sharp teeth as well. Along with that I feel Kevin is yet to tap in to his new power that comes with the bug lizard DNA sample which is something that would give him immunity to slime and sticky surfaces maybe a similar thing to bug lizard's gas that he expels. The second DNA sample that I believe that was fused with cannon bolts is the Talpadon DNA sample which is the transformation we know as Armodrillo. The power aspect would be easily supplemented by the earthquake monster that is Armodrillo. I mean he literally has the power to cause earthquakes and we can see the power boost when Wrecking Bolt takes on Humongosaur and wins out on power which is kind of scary for Ben. I also believe that the Omnitrix unlocked the Vaxasaurian transformation in the episode because he knew Ben didn't have the necessary power to take on such an amalgamation of raw strength and agility. But what caused this kind of DNA cross contamination in the first place to enable Kevin to fuse aliens like this? I strongly believe it was Corrodium, the purple mineral from the Unur system that has been seen to shift and change people who come in contact with it. But we talk more about that in our video on how Kevin made the anti tricks. But these are the fusions I believe made Cannon Bolt into Wrecking Bolt. What do you guys think? Do you have a better idea of who made the hybridizations possible? Comment down below and subscribe.